Following businessman and socialite Jinimbi's death during that horrific car crash on the 8th of November, there have been many rumors, many speculations, and conspiracy theories about Jinimbi's personal life. I mean, by now we've all heard the rumors on how he got his business empire, rumors about his estates, and of course, rumors and speculations about how he accumulated his wealth. You know the snake rumors, right? Now, Jinimbi's ex wife, Zotoa Mkanja, who can possibly claim that she knew him better than anyone else, has come out to set the record straight and spoke about Ginimbi's humble beginnings, his work ethic and how he transformed his life and went from rags to riches. Now before we get into the video, please do me a huge favor. If you are enjoying the content here on Red Live, do give this video a huge thumbs up. It does help out a lot. And also if you are new to the channel and haven't subscribed, do hit the red subscribe button, hit the bell notification to be notified of future uploads. With that said, hello and welcome to Red Live. Ginimbi's ex-wife Zotom Kanja was interviewed by Sunday Mail and in that interview she said that she watched Ginimbi grow from nothing to something through sheer hard work and dedication. She revealed that Ginimbi started off in his gas business where he established Pioneer Gas before he ventured into the fuel business through multi-million rand tenders to supply diesel to mining conglomerates in Botswana and South Africa. Zotom said the following in that interview, when we first met Genius had nothing to his name but the man was such a hard worker he would wake up at 5 a.m. to do his gas business. He continued to work hard throughout his life until he made it to the top. I was the first in business, hence I was wiser. Genius had bigger business ideas, but I always helped them with the wisdom. Likewise, I would go to him for business advice. Now Zota also went on to rubbish the claims that Ginimbi was using some magic, some voodoo, black magic, whatever you want to call it, to amass his wealth. She said that the only black magic she knew that Ginimbi practiced was burning the candle from both ends. I honestly didn't know that was black magic. But anyways, she said the following in that interview, what I can say without a shadow of doubt is that Ginimbi was a go-getter and never used juju. If there are snakes which vomit money, why can't people get them and be rich? I watched Genius grow from nothing to a millionaire through sheer hard work. Now Zotto also spoke about Ginimbi's all-white parties because some social media critics have speculated that there were rituals associated with his all-white parties. She said the following, We all have our color and his theme was white. What has that to do with rituals? I lived with Genius. I never saw any juju or rituals. The parties were just him having fun. So yes, do comment down below and let me know what you guys think about Ginimbi's ex-wife Zotwa speaking about the alleged use of snakes and juju for Ginimbi to amass his wealth. And as always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Ray Live if you haven't, and binge watch my previous videos.